Hi everybody. Here is a robotic arm based on Raspberry Pi 3. Now you can see him in action. He is busy with some pick and place jobs. Actually you can use any Raspberry Pi with a Bluetooth connectivity. So you can have fun having one on your own and you can even ask him to get some job done. The next part is to print all the parts out using a 3D printer. You can see the parts are being printed out. I'm not going to show all the video because it's going to take a long time. See now all the parts are ready. The next step is to get them assembled into one piece. The first thing is to fix the base on a wooden board or whatever you like. And then assembling all parts one by one sequentially. Then you need to fix the servo motors. Actually there are six servo motors. Three MG995 or 996R servos and three SG90 micro servos. In the description there's a link to uh, instructions. I put everything in detail in the instructions and you can follow the steps and uh, make your own robotic arm. Installing the second MG995 servo. That's what I use actually. You can use 996R, uh, which is, I think, a bit better in performance. Now, fixing the shoulder piece. Make sure uh, the, the working radius are OK after fixing each axis. I yeah, just turn them around. Maybe you'll have to adjust them a bit later uh, once you test it. It's easy anyway. Now this is a SG9G micro servo. Actually, I have uh, put everything in my uh, Google Drive, and uh, the links are shared in the in the, in the uh, instruction manual, which you can find in the description. So you can click on the links and download the Python code file plus. Uh, the remote uh, control, I mean, we are using a, a smartphone as remote control connected via Bluetooth to RPI. So you can download the app file, APK file, and I have included the, the project file also so that you can modify the app if you wish.
and we are putting together the gripper or the claw actually I'm using normal uh, M3 bolts and nuts it's better uh, if you can use uh, nylock nuts actually I don't have them available at the moment so I'm using normal M3 nuts and using a check bolt to keep the, the bolt in place Now after uh, finishing this assembling step we will uh, uh, go quickly through the instruction manual that I have attached as I mentioned earlier which you can find uh, from in the description. Click on the link, open the instruction manual and read it thoroughly before you start doing anything. Now you need to connect your RPI to uh, the monitor and uh, we need to do some good job there. You might seem it a bit uh, complex but it's actually easy. Just follow the steps in the instruction and you are done. Now this is the last part we are going to uh, install on the arm, the gripper part and then we will move to the instructions as I mentioned earlier. Okay, we are almost there. axis are moving okay this is the instruction manual that I have attached the actually the as I mentioned in the instruction manual the highlight of this project is zero jitter servos which is normally a problem with uh, servo motors but in this one it's perfectly under control See, we have six motors, one for the base, one for the shoulder, one for the elbow, one for the wrist roll, one for the wrist pitch and one for the gripper. This is the uh, wiring diagram, so just wire up your uh, components, I mean the servo motors and power supply accordingly. This is a blow up of the GPIO header of the RPI, I mean Raspberry Pi. Then open a terminal window and type sudo upget upgrade. I'm not going to show the whole process because it will take a long time and going to make the video very long. So first get upgrade. Then now we have to make a new directory to uh, keep our files, you know, the files that you download like the Python code and other associated files. So this is the command, you can see the, the directory is already made. 
Now download the files using the link in the first section of this instruction manual. And then copy them to this newly created uh, directory, ProBoot. Now we have to start the RF Com service, then you have to follow these instructions step by step. So this is to establish connection between uh, uh, the Raspberry Pi and your Android device, a Bluetooth connection. Once you follow all these uh, steps, you will get connected to the RPI via Bluetooth. Now it's uh, actually you can test the, the uh, robotic arm. Install the app in your uh, Android device and then you can move the sliders. You can see the, the uh, robotic arm responding accordingly. You can move the saves as well. If you press save button and to move the sliders, it will save all the moves. And if you press run, it will repeat all the uh, moves until you stop it continuously now this is the last step where we uh, make some arrangements to start this file automatically when the uh, raspberry pi boots up actually this is optional if you don't want to do that it's okay uh, if you want to run that in the run the rpi in a headless mode i mean without monitor you can use this and uh, I have uh, mentioned about the VNC also, which virtual network computing, which is a simple application you can use uh, to, con the, the, to control the RPI without a monitor. Now you can see him in action, all axes are moving, shoulder, waist, uh, elbow, all parts are moving, you are fine. So I'm going to save all these moves, then run so that we can see uh, the robotic arm repeating all the moves itself. And in the uh, replay mode, I mean, when you repeat the uh, saved moves or run the saved moves, you can control the speed using the speed slider in the uh, Android app. This is the uh, Android app. This is the speed slider and we have uh, six more sliders above that to control each axis. Here, here we have a save, run, stop and reset button. You can see in yellow the commands from the uh, Raspberry Pi. See now he's repeating all the actions we recorded on his own. This will continue until we stop it or the power fails. <laughs> so have one and enjoy. Thank you very much.